study shows that a breakthrough procedure for chronic sinus sufferers has a pretty high success rate. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is in our News 8 control tonight with more on the study and what it means for patients. Jocelyn. Sonia Darren, this fairly new method, the sinus balloon, was first done in hospitals but has also now moved into an office setting. The study specifically looked at patients who had it done in office and researchers found it had an 85% success rate. The sinus balloon is the latest procedure offered for serious sinus sufferers, and now it's done in office. We're working underneath the lip, above the teeth. Ear, nose, and throat specialist Dr. Stephen Levine says it's a game changer. Just like we use uh, balloons to dilate vessels in the heart, this is adapting that same technology. And when those sinuses become chronically infected, they actually are scarred and they're closed off. And this balloon allows us now to just dilate that, that scarred, closed off region in a minimally invasive approach. It takes about an hour from start to finish. We now can see the opening into the maxillary sinus osteum. Advance the balloon into the osteum, blow that balloon up. The sinus opening is now twice the size before the balloon was applied. You're not like you're going to the dentist. Exhausting all other alternatives, Kathy Purim had it done this past June. I had a lot of infections. I always had headaches. I had post-nasal drip and hard sleeping. That changed instantly after the minimally invasive treatment. He said to me, breathe, and I started breathing through my nose instantly. Dr. Levine says a patient's symptoms determines the ideal candidate. Post-nasal drip, headache, sinus congestion, recurrent infections, a history of taking antibiotics, you know, several times during the year. A recent study which Dr. Levine was lead investigator concluded a high success rate among in-office patients. 85 percent success at three months and the same at six months and the same at a year. So the results we expect should be a, last, a lasting result, not a temporary result. Now the 15% for which it didn't work out had to undergo the more extensive surgery done in the hospital. The sinus balloon is covered by most insurance plans. For more information, log on to WTNH.com.